Hey, what's up, my guy, my dude? Um, coming to you with a quick video that's probably gonna be quite shit and no one's gonna really care about, but that's okay. We vibe. Oof, I hated that. But I'm basically going to do a quick video on my favorite old sitcoms, by which I mean pre my birth, pre my birth in 2002, or like around that time. And it's going to be a quick video because I only have very few, but let's get right into it. First of all, friends, I'm white. I'm the target audience. You know, it's it was bound to be said. It was bound to be first. I would always watch friends with my family consistently, like literally consistently since childbirth, since childbirth, since what? Since I came out the womb, basically. And it would be a thing that we would eat at 6pm and we would always put friends on Comedy Central. And I probably know too much about that fucking show, to be honest with you. But do I regret it? No. I love that fi that film. <laughs> I love that show so much. It's always, 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 always going to be a comfort to me. So I don't care what anyone says, okay? I will always love it. I don't care how problematic it is. It was made back then. If it was made now, different story, but it was made back then. Let me enjoy it in peace. Thank you. Next. Will and Grace. I honestly had a thought about this the other day. Where I was like, I think Will and Grace was my introduction to queer people. <laughs> like, as a kid. Like, we didn't have an outright conversation about gay people. It just, because of Will and Grace, I just kind of grew up with it, like, being so normal. Like, we, I didn't go, oh, that uncle is gay and gay this gay that like it was just i don't know how to explain what i'm trying to say i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but will and grace is so fucking funny and it's because mainly of jack and karen and to this day we still watch it like we've been watching it there was definitely a few years where we stopped watching it like or it just wasn't on tv we started watching it again though like in the past like two years i'd say and it's just so fucking good it's so funny truly like Karen and Jack were just like classic characters like you just can't beat them like at all in this sitcom like era that all of these were made and then another one you have is Everybody Loves Raymond yeah this was one of my biggest comfort shows ever and still is we used to watch it all the time before school before Greek school as well it would be like six in the morning Everybody Loves Raymond would be on I think because like we're a, a half Mediterranean, half English family that we really related to it because it's like half Italian, half American family. So it's like very easy, the differences and like we really relate to that as Greek people. And then like you've got the English <laughs> side. So you really relate to it. And I think that's why it's so fun. But yeah, I just always loved it. Still in the mornings, if I wake up early, which let's be honest, never really happens. But if I do, I always make sure that I put that on it's just the best and so funny so so funny leading on from that everybody hates Chris this is honestly I think one of the first ones I ever watched and to this day again it's so funny we've caught a couple episodes recently which are just the humor just remains unbeatable it's so funny I think like I, but we stopped watching that after a while like it just wasn't on tv as much and so I think watching it now like we've watched a couple of episodes recently and you just really do just get it's the one of my most nostalgic ones because we haven't watched it as much whereas like friends we still watch so it's not as nostalgic um but everybody hates chris is just one of the most nostalgic ones for me it's crazy and uh we have cheers which cheers actually came after fraser for me we first started watching fraser because it would be everybody hates no, Everybody Loves Raymond would be first. Two episodes of that and then two episodes of Frasier. And I loved Frasier. And then my parents told me about Cheers as I was getting a bit older. And so we started to watch Cheers. And so Cheers and Frasier are my next two, which I just absolutely loved. And Cheers was always just so funny. Such a good like show premise and idea. 
and then Frasier was basically the spin-off series of the character Frasier in Cheers and actually was really funny like his brother was one of the funniest characters it was all around just like a good show um but Cheers is obviously going to be funnier but I love both both are very nostalgic to me and um again they were morning shows so it was like kind of similar to everybody loves Raymond still one of those really you know comfort shows in the morning and then finally I thought of two that I wanted to add which kind of again are like those two which kind of spin off of each other but this year this isn't a nostalgic one for me because I only watched it this year but it comes from the same era Seinfeld I know I'm late to it but also it really wasn't that big here in the UK compared to in America but I love Seinfeld it was so good I've forgotten her name now but the main character the main female character I've app I'm I'm gay like <laughs> I'm literally obsessed with her I love her so much it was so funny and Kramer is honestly one of the funniest characters on TV it's just so like out of this realm funny and I loved it and um spinning off from that would be Curb Your Enthusiasm which I did watch as a kid and I shouldn't have because it was very inappropriate but for it for a child but it was seriously one of my favorite shows ever and we still watch it to the day to this day and also they have new seasons so we've been watching those too and they're still so funny I think an honorable mention though would be uh I think it's like Third Rock from the Sun we that became one of our comfort shows as well at some point um but I don't have as many memories with that as the other ones but that was still an honorable mention that I really liked and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's in that and he's always been really hot as shit so <laughs> um but yeah this is such a random video and I know that literally came out of like nowhere but I really love these shows and I was having a conversation about them with my best friend the other day and I thought I should do like a list of like all my favorite old shows and just see if like people relate or had other ones or like how different like that is to like American TV or something along those lines um yeah this happens a lot I just have really random ideas and I just sit down and do it because why not so I hope you enjoyed this if you did let me know if you watched those let me know if you didn't what did you watch and I will see you in my next video